And this is a live look outside the Walter Reed Medical Center in Maryland where President Trump is hospitalized and being closely monitored after being tested for COVID-19. Late last night, the president tweeted for the first time since being hospitalized. The president writing late Friday night, quote, going well, I think. Thank you to all love. And First Lady Melania Trump, who was also tested positive, is in isolation at the White House with mild symptoms. This stunning revelation raises concerns about the president's health and threats that it creates chaos just 32 days before the election. Alice Barr is in Washington with the latest. A snapshot in history, a masked President Trump trying to project business as usual in the midst of the most serious health threat to an American commander in chief in decades. Hours after the president announced he and the first lady tested positive for COVID-19, he boarded Marine One for the short flight to Walter Reed, the nation's premier military hospital for monitoring. The White House says it's a precaution. The president leaving behind this message. I think I'm doing very well, but we're going to make sure that things work out. The White House physician said President Trump was fatigued but in good spirits and was given an antibody cocktail, an experimental drug meant to boost his body's immune response. The doctor says the First Lady has only a mild cough and headache. At 74 and overweight, the president is considered at higher risk for serious complications. Democratic rival Joe Biden tested negative today and made the decision to drop all negative campaign ads, sending his prayers to the president and first lady. This is not a matter of politics. It's a bracing reminder to all of us that we have to take this virus seriously. The war for the White House now in limbo as the president of the United States joins the ranks of more than 7 million fellow Americans who've been forced to fight coronavirus. And right now, it's unclear how and when President Trump was infected, but at least six people who attended the announcement of his Supreme Court nominee last Saturday have now tested positive. And that number continues to grow this just in. President Trump's campaign manager, Bill Steepen, has tested positive for the coronavirus, making him the latest in a growing list of close contacts who have contracted the virus. And the Trump campaign announced Friday that previously scheduled events involving members of the first family are also being temporarily postponed. Now that includes the president's son, Donald Trump Jr., who is expected to make a stop in Georgia next week. He was scheduled to host two events on Monday, one in Gainesville, Florida, and the other right here in Kennesaw. At the governor's gun club, both of those are postponed. And medical research shows the next 10 days could be critical for the president and the first lady and those close to them. Oftentimes during the first week, your symptoms are mild, but doctors say around seven days in is when someone can start to experience shortness of breath and could be admitted to the hospital. By day 10 or 11 is when people with the most severe symptoms end up in the ICU.